day. The last several days have been long days. Uh, I didn't get a, enough filming today to put together what I consider a fairly decent video. So we're, we're eating up a little film time with me talking to you and my forerunner. I just got done looking at a track of timber up on the Osage River uh, between Rockville and Taborville, Missouri. We'll be cutting here in the weeks to come. I say weeks because we've actually had it on the books for a while. Uh, there's actually quite a bit that goes into cutting that timber right up there, like prep work. Well, just because that river can be so crazy at times, the flooding, this time of year, any, about, any amount of rainfall can really throw us off track up there. So we're going to get a machine up there, like I said, within the next few weeks and try to start getting some things done, go on roads put in. Tomorrow, uh, we're taking my 333 down to John Deere. It's had kind of an issue come up not really sure what's going on there it's not throwing any codes uh it's not i, I don't know it's just kind of i don't know what it's doing it's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing it's not running 100 percent. we're probably running about 75 70 75 percent we're guessing so uh taking it tomorrow i've already talked to them they know it's on its way i worry about things like that it's still got six months of warranty left so we might as well get the good out of that uh somebody needs a skid steer the old 333 is going to be on the chopping block before long because I don't like to have those things any longer in two years when the warranty's up. It's time for them to go and we get into another one just because I don't want the headache of having to worry about a costly breakdown. Uh, other updates. Oh, the 379 Peterbilt. I'm extremely excited to show you guys this truck when it's done. Hopefully we'll go pick it up next week. Now keep in mind... It's not 100% done, but it's night and day different from the last video we made when I picked up that 379. It's had a complete, complete, complete makeover. It, uh, they've been sending me pictures of it as it's been going on. If you guys follow some of my stuff on uh, my Facebook page or my Instagram page, you can see some of the pictures there, what's going on with it, but it is going to look amazing when it's done. Uh, they're going to have to bury me in it because I've spent that much money on it. I, I've... I'm just beside myself what this thing's cost me, but it's a, it's going to be a good looking truck, something that I'll be glad to have our name on running up and down the road, pulling that low boy, pulling our skitters with. So super excited to get it back. Uh, we've still got a few weeks to wait on the stacks. I ordered my stacks kind of waited in order to last week, uh, a set of seven inch Diablos. So big stacks to go with that big six NZ cat motor, 550 horse. She'll sing out when, uh, we hit the Jake's at night. Anyway, guys, enjoy today's video. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Everybody's been watching. We've been really trying to knuckle down, focus more on these videos. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I can make some better content other than you sitting here with me and my forerunner uh, talking to you. So thank you again. Enjoy the video, and we'll see you tomorrow. It did not get near as cold as what they said it was going to get last night. I'm not complaining about that. But it is cold enough to freeze up the ground good. That's the main thing I'm getting logged about down here. Uh, we've already got a probably about a load out from yesterday afternoon. I didn't bring the truck back just because it was starting to thaw. When you've seen the cutting portion of yesterday's video, I was lucky enough to get to do some cutting. Hopefully this morning I can do some cutting too. Uh, we've still got a lot of good sycamore ash and maple through here to cut. This this will be an ongoing project for a while. I'd say we'll probably try to round out the week and the weekend right here. Then everything's swept in the air. We're so busy and far behind with work. Really need to get back over around Bernal, uh, Missouri. We've, that's where the 648H is at. Uh, we've got walnut on the ground over there. We've got a good walnut job we need to get the rolling on. Uh, I've got timber. I've got to, hopefully today, I can find some time just about a mile from here. I, I've got to go mark some timber. So hopefully, hopefully we can get to all we need to do. Anyway, uh, yeah, what's out on the deck here? Hackberry, sycamore, maple, ash cottonwood good trees this sycamore this is some of the better sycamore we've cut in a while i wish we had a good uh, i know i said this yesterday but i wish we had a good sycamore market i wish we had something to do with it uh, I've, I've just even talking to dad this morning coffee about that i've I'm, I'm almost tempted to try to lay some of those sycamore out on the yard instead of just put them in the pallet pile uh, but pallets all that stuff ever ever goes for i mean that one time one time in my life i've i've sold it for something a little better than pallet just uh I wish we could find a good market on that, just like the hackberry. At one time when I was a kid, Dad had a really good deal on hackberry. It was a sliced veneer logs. The specifications were pretty high on them, but at the same time, 
it, it wasn't that hard to find them. You know, it, it had to be small hearted. It had to be snow white. Like look at this hackberry here. So that wasn't snow white in, but the heart's too big for what those specifications went for back then. So these things need to be bucked. I'm going to start the skitter, get it warming up. I'm going to buck these up. I'm going to push them up in the pile. Uh, Dad should be here any minute. He was stopping to get chainsaw gas. Then uh, hopefully we'll go to cut, and I'm going to try to bust out a couple loads before it starts to thaw, because when the sun starts beating down, it's not really going to warm up today, but that sun will start to make things greasy down here, and that ain't going to be good for the trucking into things. I'm getting to do a little cutting this morning. I'm also dragging. Got some of these guys down. Got a couple of sycamore down. Good sycamore. A lot of footage here. Now, somebody commented yesterday, and I, I just remember the comment. Forgive me. It might have been you, Dan. I, I don't remember uh, the, how big sycamore get. Sycamore get big. Uh, and honestly, we found sycamores so big that we couldn't even... For one, we don't have a bar big enough to cut them. For two, once we got them on the ground, I don't know what we do with them. I can show you one on the river up here on the island. That's probably at least 12 foot straight through. It's on the head of the range island. It's a, it's a big tree and honestly something like that, I don't think I could cut it. That thing is just a landmark for the river. I've, I've went under that thing many, many times trapping and coon hunting. Dad's waiting to bring that one down so I better get to work.
we're gonna load up real quick. Decent little pile of logs there. Get my levers flipped up. Decent little pile of logs. Uh, be just a little under two loads. About everything in there is pallet. <laughs> it's just, uh, they're good pallet, but they're pallet. And out we go. You got a pretty good load of logs on the Mac. I don't know if we'll be able to come back and get the next load today or not. Because when the sun starts hitting this field like it is, it will start getting greasy. It's not that we'll sink down, but it will be greasy. We'll just slip and slide everywhere. But Dad's got a load at his house. Uh, Dad's sneaky. You never know what Dad's doing. Dad'll, you know, if there'll be days I'm out buying timber or looking at timber, and I don't know what Dad's doing. Next thing you know, Dad's got a load of logs on the ground somewhere. So you never know what Dad's up to. But he told me just a second ago, once I go kick these off, he said meet him for coffee, and we'll go get those ones at his house. So I have no idea what he's got there. Don't know what they are. But we'll go down there. Load them up, get them back on the yard. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.